Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Welcome back to my channel, again, unshaved. Oh my God, this sounds awful. One moment, please. Much better. Okay. Uh, I was requested to do a video about how to get your call sign into the TrueSDX and I thought, so why not? Let's do a video about firmware programming. Let's go. The first thing you need to do is go to my page and download the firmware. You enter the, the serial number. Um, just to mention that, I'm going to make the TrueSDX now a little bit bigger. If you turn that around, you can see I wrote down the serial number of that device. You will find that on your bag. Or if you first have installed the bootloader, or it's, it's the initial bootloader, you can read it in the display. And I'm now entering that serial number in the field. I'm not showing this. Let me see. This one. And now I'm entering the call sign in the field next to it. You saw, you see the serial number, you see a random call sign, AB1CDE. Um, that's just to, to make you aware, that's also what's affecting the, the call sign in there, because if I boot that now, you will see there's my call sign in there, DL2MN. Okay, so I download that now. I save it. The next important thing to know is, if you never did that before, you need the, to have the tool and install it, ABR Judas, and the USB driver for the CH340 chip. Now that I've connected the TrueSDX to the computer, I'm going to show you the device manager and you can see there is this USB serial CH340 at COM3. That's the true SDX. Let me show you if I disconnect it disappears. If I connect it again, it reappears. Okay. So we know now the true SDX is recognized as CH340 at COM3. Now, the next thing I'm going to start is AVR do this. That's this tool here. You download it. Um, you select COM3, which is the port we just determined by uh, the device manager. We select Programmer Arduino. We select MCU at Mega 328P. Even though you might have a PB or PU version on there, select P because the bootloader is emulating a P, okay? Now we need to select the firmware AB1CDE open. Then we need to select baud rate 115200. Nothing else needs to be set. Don't don't uh, enable set fuses, don't enable force or anything like that. If, if you need to force that, something is wrong, okay? Now, let's just program that. If I hit program, it should now program it on there and it should reboot. Should reboot with a new call sign. There we have it. AB1CDE. Okay, so that's how that goes. That's not that hard, right? I hope you liked it. I hope you find it as easy as me. And if you didn't do that already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That really helps the, helps the channel a lot. And please tell me how you like the new audio down in the comments. See you next time. 73, bye bye.